Hi guys. Well, a happy new year to everybody. It's uh, 1st of January 2024. Um, 2023 went very quickly. And um, I've actually just come for a little uh, day ride out to uh, Southport in uh, Lancashire. Um, it's a very touristy location and uh, there's obviously a, a Harley Davidson meetup taking place. Um, so I've managed to get the little Honda CB500 X uh, right in the centre of all the Harleys. And uh, personally, I think my bike looks the best. However, there's some beautiful bikes there and uh, you'll have seen it on a little bit of clip that I've shown you. Um, so, 2024. How was 2023? Well, pretty good for me and uh, not much different to 2022. Um, lots of uh, camping, lots of riding, uh, had a trip to Europe, um, if, there's plenty of videos about all that and uh, generally just uh, just done pretty much what I like doing. One of the uh, big decisions I have to make this year is whether I continue with a part-time retirement job that I uh, currently have. Uh, I only work a couple of days a week and I have to make a decision whether I keep going, reduce the hours or indeed retire completely. I still want to do a longer trip with the bike and clearly that's not going to be doable until uh, I finally retire. So whether it be this year or whether it be next year, I'm not entirely sure yet, but no doubt you will find out when I decide. From a point of view of the channel, um, it's building very slowly but steadily. Um, I have uh, 6,000, well, 6,000 plus subscribers now. Um, I've had uh, a million views of videos. So these are little achievements. Um, in the scale of the world of YouTube, it's relatively small fry. Uh, but for me, because this is a hobby rather than a job, it's pretty good. So over a million views of videos, over 6,000 subscribers, and just short of 250 videos. Uh, in fact, within a, the next two or three weeks, that'll be in excess of 250 videos. One of the other things I've got to decide is um, how I continue with filmmaking. Because it's a hobby, it's a very expensive activity. Uh, going away a lot, uh, literally spending money on gear. Because most of the gear that I have, 99.9% .9 of anything I review uh, was paid for by myself. I have accepted the occasional item, uh, an Oxford fire pit, um, some lights for the bike, one tent, some heated gloves, but they weren't really motorcycle gloves. They're okay, but they're, um, they're good actually, but they're not really, they don't have any great protection, but they work well. And as far as I can remember, that's about it, to be honest. I get lots of offers of gear, um, but unless it's gear that I would particularly want to use, um, it's just, I'm not interested. I'm not going to start reviewing. I mean, I've got offered a jewellery, a watch. Well, I don't wear watches, I don't wear jewellery. So I just don't wear anything. Don't, don't, don't do jewellery, don't do watches. So for me to suddenly turn up and do a review of a watch or jewellery, uh, that's the extreme of what I've been offered. Um, it just wouldn't make sense and it wouldn't be true to myself or to you. So there's certain things I want to do this year if I can achieve. That's uh, upgrade my camera system. Um, I'd really like to get an Insta360 camera and ultimately I'd like to get a, a little drone uh, because I like watching people that make films with drones because you get a different perspective and it's very scenic. And the Insta360, um, I think, is a camera that would be very useful to me because it would, uh, it would 
forward phase, what's 360 degrees filming. So I, I can do away with a couple of cameras that are fitted to the bike. But it all takes money. And uh, in semi-retirement, or most retirement, mostly retired, um, I have to uh, have to save money to, to buy these things. So um, that's what I want to achieve this year, is upgrade the camera systems, potentially get a drone, but it's all down to whether I can afford to do so. Uh, as far as um, trips go, I'll continue doing pretty much what I'm doing now, but I'd be interested to hear from you as to what you like seeing best. And I might just do a little survey, if I can figure out how to do it, uh, a little survey, trying to find out and establish uh, what's the most popular thing. I, I, I know where the big viewings are, uh, and the big viewings are on the Honda CB500X, anything to do with the bike, uh, on camping gear, um, quite often relatively cheap camping gear. And that's because people obviously, they're not too sure where they want to buy something, especially if it's cheap. So they like to do find reviews on YouTube like we all do. So I've got to figure it all out as to where I go with the channel. And, uh, any feedback from yourselves now, you know, in comments would be great. Um, but I will do a, I think I'll do a little survey um, to just to see what people want to see. Um, I've mentioned the camera systems and the drone. That would certainly enhance everything I do. Uh, but you just have to wait for the time being. I intend to do more trips to Scottish Islands this year and if I do finish complete finish work then I may do a longer trip uh, a little bit later in the year uh, maybe August September but again not so sure well <laughs> Well, it looks like the Harleys are going. It'll leave my lonely Honda CB500 next. And talking of Honda CB500 Xs, just need to have a coffee first. So, talking of Honda CB500 Xs, that's the other consideration for 2024 is to whether to keep the Honda CB 500X or upgrade to the NX 500, Honda NX 500, which is basically the CB 500X we named, but with uh, certain upgrades which I and most people would find quite appealing. For now though, I really think I should go and get the bike and join the probably around about a hundred Harley Davidsons and get right in the middle of them or on the end, maybe right in front of them and see what they think about that. Anyway, as I say, Happy New Year to you and I hope your year is going to be a brilliant year. But I think I need to go and film the uh, the Harley as they ride off on mass.